Hello again. Welcome to Campbelltown Free Church for Psalm of the Week. This week's psalm is Psalm 66. Psalm 66 is the second of a cluster of four psalms that appear to be connected in a couple of ways. All four are labelled as a song, but more significantly, each of them is clearly evangelistic in its tone, calling to everyone everywhere in every period of time to worship God so that God's covenant promised to Abraham that through Jesus, his ultimate descendant, all peoples on earth will be blessed with God's salvation might become a reality. Before we look at what the psalm says, let's read it together. Psalm 66, for the director of music, a psalm, a psalm. Shout with joy to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing praise to your name. Come and see what God has done. How awesome are his works on man's behalf. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. He rules forever by his power. He watches the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him. Praise our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. For you, O Lord, tested us. You refined us like silver. You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. You let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. I will come to your temple with burnt offerings and fulfill my vows to you, vows my lips promised and my mouth spoke when I was in trouble. I will sacrifice fat animals to you and an offering of rams. I will offer bulls and goats. Come and listen, all you who fear the Lord. Let me tell you what he has done for me. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and heard my prayer, uh, my voice in prayer. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. This psalm is an outward facing psalm and it begins in verses 1 to 5 with a summons. All the earth, verses 1 and 4, is summoned to worship God. The commands to shout, sing, praise and come are all activities associated with worship. And everyone everywhere is to worship God alone. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 9, Paul informs us what happens when we become Christians. We stop worshipping idols, those people and things we live for, and to whom we look to make us secure and content and satisfied. We stop worshipping them and we start to worship the living and true God who alone is worthy of our worship. This outward facing psalm continues in verses 5 and 6 and 8 and to 12 with a reason. We are given a history lesson as to why we should worship God alone. This reminds us that the gospel is not based on feelings but on hard, verifiable historical facts. History shows that God is the God who saves. Verses 5 and 6 describe the events of the Exodus when, after centuries of Egyptian oppression, God stepped into history to redeem his people. Verses 8 to 12 concentrate on the events of the return from exile when, after decades of being away from their land, God stepped into history to repatriate his people. In the Bible, the historical events of the Exodus and the return from exile point forward to the historical events of Jesus' life, death and resurrection. In these historical events, God has stepped into history to redeem us from sin's oppression and to bring us back to himself. 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 18 and 19 and chapter 3 verse 18. The reason why we trust in Jesus is because the historical evidence compels us to do so. 
Tucked away within this outward facing psalm is a warning. Verse 7. Let not the rebellious rise up against him. History has shown again and again that God is stronger than those who oppose him and judges those who like Pharaoh resist him. The warning is simple. Do not rebel against this summons to worship God or he will judge uh, instead of redeeming. There are echoes here of Psalm 2 verses 10 to 12. Therefore you kings, be wise, be warned, serve the Lord with fear, kiss the son lest he be angry and you be destroyed in your way. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. We all need to hear about how God's salvation works itself out in everyday life. So this outward facing psalm concludes with a testimony in verses 13 to 20. The psalmist tells how God has saved him. His story is straightforward. I was in desperate need, but I cried to God for help and he rescued me. What his testimony is driving at is also straightforward. Although you probably do not realise it or will not admit it, you too are in desperate need. But if you cry out to Jesus, he will rescue you too. We might not have all the answers to the questions we're asked. We might not know the Bible as well as we would like to. We might not be theological experts. But all of us, like the psalmist, should be able to say to others, Come and listen. Let me tell you what Jesus has done for me. Let's pray for a moment. O oh Lord, the rock of our salvation, how marvellous are the things you have done in the historical events surrounding the life, death, resurrection and ascension of Jesus our Saviour. Empower us by your Spirit so that we might be good witnesses to Jesus. Bless what we say so that as we invite people to come and listen to the great things you have done, they might turn away from all the people and things they idolise instead of you and start to worship you, the living and true God and Jesus your Son. O God, the rock of our salvation, grant that through the words we speak about Jesus, your glorious name might be praised in all the earth. Hear us, for it's in Jesus' name that we pray and for his glory alone. Amen. Thank you very much for listening. May God bless you. We've got a bonus to finish off. It's a sung version of the, um, the last bit of Psalm 66, verses 13 to 20. It's from the Sing Psalms version of the Psalms, and it's sung to the tune Carlisle. Oh, oh, oh.